with our Hyundai Stroke Enova um, AC motor and in preparation for actually spinning it uh, the first thing that we needed to do was to, to sort out the uh, connections on this multi-way cable here uh, for the motor's encoder because we can spin in closed loop mode uh, without having the encoder functioning. So, what I did, um, so what I did was I took the kind of tail cable out of the inverter and uh, we had looked at the PCBs and we had figured out some of the basic wiring. So for example, we knew that of the six wires coming through here, uh, that we had a frame ground on the white and the blue wire and that we had been able to de deduce from looking at the logic PCB in the ANOVA inverter that the green wire was connected to a 5 volts uh, DC power supply. So that was enough info uh, for us to start doing some simple uh, experiments here. So the first thing uh, is that we knew what three wires were. So we had two grounds and we had a 5 volts. Now that left us with three wires uh, to figure out what they do. So the first thing that I did was took my uh, multimeter to set to resistance and I joined the two ground wires together and then uh, checked the resistance from ground to the three wires that we didn't really know uh, what they did. Two wires gave me complete open, cir open cir circuit the third wire gave me 15 kilo ohms. So that meant uh, that I could then identify the black wire as being the motor temperature sensor. And I then split my two grounds apart. And I then found the ground that when I connected it to the black wire gave me 15 K and that would turn out to be the, the white. So in this little pigtail here, the white and the black wires are the motor temperature sensor. The blue wire is the ground for the encoder and the green wire is the plus 5 volts. So now that left us down with two wires uh, to figure out what they, they do. And in a typical um, AC motor inverter uh, setup they will pretty much guarantee to be the um, encoder signals themselves. So the last thing that we needed to do was to actually prove that and to see what type of uh, signals that the encoder would produce because some encoders need a pull up uh, resistance on their channels. They're just basically open collector outputs. <clears throat> so I got my bench power supply here, set it to five volts DC uh, so a very low current limit of about 20 milliamps on it and uh, connected it as per green positive and uh, blue ground. Turned on the power supply and I'm drawing just under 20 milliamps here about 18-19 um, milliamps at 5 volts which is pretty typical uh, for one of these encoders. So next thing I did was I got my uh, oscilloscope out and uh, connected it to one of what I guess are the encoder channels and uh, noticed that the trace jumped straight up to 5 volts DC and when I give the motor a little manual spin uh, we get a nice square wave uh, that kind of varies in frequency uh, depending upon uh, what speed that I'm spinning the motor at which is exactly uh, what we're looking for. I changed the oscilloscope over to what I again perceive to be the second encoder channel and just spin the motor over by hand and uh, I get my nice uh, square wave here. So that pretty much identifies the red and the orange wires here 
as the um, encoder ch encoder channels and uh, it means that we're now in a very good position that we know uh, what these connections do and we will be able to hopefully uh, very soon connect this basically drive unit up uh, to our open source inverter and uh, get it to spin in closed loop mode. Now, <clears throat> one thing we're not going to know is how many pulses per revolution that the encoder produces. Uh, we're going to just have to take a few educated guesses there um, and I'll get to that uh, when we're actually setting up the inverter. So just a quick update here guys on this drive unit. I am working on it uh, and I think I've made pretty good progress now that I know uh, what these wires do. And um, okay, that's it. Not very exciting I'm afraid. Just a little bit of basic reverse engineering going on here and uh, we'll be back soon. Uh, hopefully when we have this thing spinning up, uh, kind of a big deci decision to take then as to, uh, <coughs> as to whether I'm going to put it in the car or not. So, alright guys, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, thanks for all the support and we'll catch you next time.